Hello students, today we are going to walk through how to access and complete assignment number six of PBL2, which is the pitch of your final product. As always, we're going to start on the Google page or whatever page you use as a web browser. We're going to go to springisd.org. From here, we're going to scroll down to Empowered Learning at Home. And on the Empowered Learning homepage, we're going to select sixth grade. And again, we are focused on assignment number six, which is the pitch of your final product. It is due Friday, May 22nd. However, because this video is going live today on the 19th, you can work on it and complete it long before Friday. To access the PBL2 document with the assignment links, we're going to click Erase Food Waste. And from here, we are going to scroll down to the resources for assignment number six. Notice here it says pitch final product May 22nd and there is a document here. This is on page four of the PBL2 document. Okay, but before we even access this document, I'm going to explain a little bit about expectations for assignment number six. So assignment number six is going to be a Google slide presentation, just like you created for PBL1. As your final assignment, there will be another presentation for PBL2's final assignment. So in order to create the Google Slides, you're going to go to your Google homepage and when you open up all of the apps, it's going to be the Google Slides app. To create a new PowerPoint, you're going to click on blank and it will open up the presentation here for you to begin. So before you start, let me explain how many slides the presentation must consist of and what each slide will have on it. So I've already created my Google slide presentation to walk you guys through it. So I'm going to open mine up first. So here is mine. So your final pitch presentation, you want to title it PBL2 Assignment 6 Final Pitch, and then you want to add your name at the end. And once you've titled your Google presentation, you're going to share it and notice the button here is not blue, it is yellow. So you're going to click the yellow share button and you're going to type in your teacher's email address to share it with me. And you're going to make sure that the pencil is present as the icon so that I'm able to edit it. Once you click send, that will show that it's been shared with me. So the presentation is going to have only four slides. It's going to be shorter than the presentation from PBL 1. So on slide number one, you're going to put a title with your name and an image related to reducing food waste. So notice it's very simple. I have my title here, I have my name, and I have my image related to reducing food waste. Okay, so that's slide number one. Slide number two, this is where you're going to explain your product or your service and include some images. So I've been working on the same idea since assignment number three, right? My product has always been a portion controlled plate that restaurants will use to offer a smaller portion to customers at a 10% discounted rate. So here's the image that should be familiar from my previous assignments. It's the portion controlled plate. I've put an image of a restaurant because this is where the portion control plate will be used in restaurants. And then down here I put customers who order a smaller portion meal at the discounted rate can post a photo of their food to social media with the hashtag eat less waste less. So I'm basically explaining my product and that's what it says for you to do on slide number two. Describe your product and include an image. Okay. Slide number three, this is when you're going to talk about your com product in comparison to competitors. So competitors are going to be other products or services that are compared to yours. And you're going to talk about why your product is better. So I have at the top my product versus competitors. So I'm comparing my product to McDonald's because McDonald's is known for having um, three different sizes of meals, right? They talk about how they have now their biggest order of fries is the large fry, right? You can get small, medium, large. A lot of people who shop or eat at McDonald's, they always want to get the largest fry, whereas they end up wasting food. 
So my product idea is to encourage customers to buy smaller meal portions so that they don't overeat and so that they're able to save money because they'll get a discount for buying a smaller portion. So that's where I'm explaining how my product compares to McDonald's, right? Um, and that's basically what I explained. I explained that unlike McDonald's and other fast food restaurants where customers like to pay more for food, my product re rewards customers for eating less by giving them a discount to pay less. This will help them maintain a healthy body weight by not overeating and will help them save money by paying 10% less for meals. Unlike McDonald's, they'll also be able to get attention on social media by using the hashtag eat less, waste less. So here I'm still explaining my product, but I'm comparing it to a competitor. Now, the fourth slide is where you have to actually go back and access the PBL2 document. So remember we said that here there is an assignment link, okay? So when you click on the hyperlink, it'll pull up the pitch final product script. It's going to prompt you to make a copy. However, this is not what you're going to turn in. You're just going to make the copy and you're going to use the information to complete your slide number four. So you'll notice that when it opens up, there's a script here that you have to use to fill in the blanks. So it says, hi, my name is blank, my company, blank invented blank right so your name goes here the name of your company goes here the name of your product goes here it helps blank so you're going to describe your customers who blank so what type of customers do you service customers who want to lose weight who want to reduce food waste who care about the environment what kind of customers do you service unlike your competitor so this is where you'll put in your competitor's name right out here i'll put mcdonald's unlike blank which blank so what does your competitor do that is a weakness and your competitor to weakness right so you're putting two different competitors here and you're talking about how your product is better so our product what does it do that's positive what does it improve what does it make easier what does it teach and then how does your product do that right and then in the end it says another positive thing about your product it also blank the blank by how the product enhances the customer like so basically you're going to copy and paste this script or you can just type it um, onto your slide number four right so you'll notice this is what my slide number four looks like i decided to copy and paste mine in so that i have all of the parts i needed to have and so my slide number four says hi my name is melanie williams my company, Popular Portions, that's the company name, invented a portion controlled plate, that's my product. It helps all types of people who want to maintain a healthy weight and spend less eating out. And I'm gonna put actually spend less money. Unlike McDonald's, that was my first competitor, which prides itself on supersizing items on their menu and Burger King, I had to put two competitors. So I brought in Burger King, even though Burger King was not on my slide three which gives out two Whoppers for the price of one. Our product rewards people for eating smaller portions by giving them a discount on their meal. It also increases awareness by giving the customer something they can post to their social media and hashtag eat less, waste less. And so this basically is me filling in the blanks of the script from the PBL2 assignment and putting it on my slide four. Once you've completed your slide four, you are done with assignment number six and you just have to make sure that it is shared with me in order to get a hundred you must have all four slides completed correctly each slide is worth 25 percent so if you do only slide one that's 25 percent out of 100 if you do slide two that's 50 percent out of 100 if you do slide up to slide three that's 75 percent out of 100 but if you do all four slides that's 100 percent out of 100. it's fairly simple it's kind of repetitive based on the other assignments that we've been doing and again, once you turn in assignment number six, you are done with all the PBL2 lessons.